an adventure into the universe. Going past the moon and beyond, this 360 degree inflatable dome uses a projection system to display different space themed educational videos. The team behind the program targets schools and science fairs to teach about astronomy, the solar system and other planetary bodies. So this dome can take up to uh, 25 students per one session and we create an artificial dark sky and create the environment where people they can feel like they're traveling from the earth to space. So the environment as you can see here it's exciting and we feel that to give that feeling of traveling to space so that students they can feel like they are looking at Jupiter, Saturn. The team believes by making space education an immersive experience it becomes much easier to teach young people because it's fun, interactive and motivational. When I experienced it, it was much unbelievable, unbelievable than what I thought. Then after that, aircrafts and galaxies and stars and cosmos, new things, asteroids, how bigger they are than the Earth, they really inspired me. The realm of outer space is no longer limited to a select few influential nations. Over 20 African nations have taken up the mantle of space exploration. Tanzania is yet to have a space agency, but the seeds being planted here might create change in the future. Sounds of the Kilimanjaro Planetarium experience, a first for most of the students inside this dome. The team behind the project say they have already reached 12,000 children in two years, and the goal is to reach about 50,000 young people over the next three years. The government has its sights sky high with plans to launch its satellite soon. This ambitious move promises vast opportunities in space technology and exploration. From communication advancements to weather forecasting, satellite technology can revolutionize various sectors of the country. I call up our government officials, our government readers, to put much efforts to invest a lot in this technology so that to try to motivate the Hali, Hali uh, culture in our arenas to try to to get connected to this knowledge in order for them to become future astronauts. Africa's first venture into space was a satellite launched by Egypt in 1998. Tanzania hopes to use its young people, infused with a passion for space exploration, as a takeoff pad that will rocket the country's space technology sector well into the universe. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.